You know, Madeline Carson, I always live by this. If you can give back to your community, even if it's just a smile, do it. But this is an annual event that has helped the West Texas Food Bank provide millions of meals back into the community. It's one of their most significant fundraisers. I was able to meet some of the people who make it happen behind the scenes. Art student Emily Dawn at the University of Texas Permian Basin is one of the many who helped make ceramic bowls for the West Texas Food Bank's annual Empty Bowls event in Odessa. It's just really neat to see um, how doing something I love can give back to the community. And as to how many bowls she has made so far? Too many, too many to count, yes. For just $15, you get a handmade bowl and all the soup you can eat. 100% of the proceeds from the event go directly into the food bank to help feed communities in the Permian Basin. I've seen students transform their lives when they realize that the gifts that they have can actually go into the community and, and solve a problem. Associate Professor of Art at UTPB, Chris Stanley, says the event is also to help raise awareness about hunger in the community. About 30 years ago, there was a group out of Illinois that um, started this project with high school students. And the idea was to have the students do something for their community that was positive using art. And so the Empty Bowls idea kind of was birthed. And says the event took off from there. We're excited again to bring the, the event back to the community where it has that feel of getting to know your neighbors and, and spending a day um, interacting with each other amongst you know just really beautiful handcrafted art. West Texas Food Bank Marketing Director Craig Stoker says in 2021, the event scaled back because of COVID-19 restrictions. It's that community feel. It's, it's getting together and, and meeting your neighbor and, and seeing friends that, that maybe you haven't seen. Stoker says more than 1,000 handmade bowls will be available this Sunday, March 6th. Reporting live in studio, Ozzy Mora, ABC Big 2 News.